everybody, James here, and this is my Amnesia Let's Play Part 2. Uh, last time we left up, left off, we were trying to figure out what the hell to do. So we're going to get our save open, and we are going to play. I don't know if I clicked the right save. Honestly. No, I did not. Okay. Save and exit. Yes. We have to join the right save this time. We can do this. Load game. The second save here. This is the This is the chosen one. Yes, this is the one we want, so. Yes, we were all confused on what we were going to do. And I think I have an idea. There's some kind of thing in this room. I know that for sure. So I'm just gonna look around and try to find it. Let's see. How? It's a lever. Hold now. Down. Oh god, what was that? I turned my brightness up as well. Oh my lord. So my face is going all funky because I don't have light. So I guess I'm just gonna try to get past there really quickly. Without getting gang raped. Oh please! Entrance hall. We are in the entrance hall now. He fell to the kitchen floor. Tears were beginning to well in his eyes as he received the first kick in his stomach. Hazel remained hidden in fear. She too would be punished. Oh god. Okay, hold down sh left shift while moving. Okay, so this is to run. Holy balls. This is actually pretty freaky. Oh my god! What's going on? Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking. Come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, oh, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. Oh, and it lies well here? beyond the refinery. In, in fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. Okay, so it lies within the stone of Brennenburg. Okay, well... First thing I would like to do. We've got light. That is very good. Oh god. Oh my god, that's those thingies. So we're all good there. We have light. Is that oil? Oh yes, we have oil now. Okay, we need to take our oil and put it in our, our lamp. Our lamp has oil now, everybody. I'm very proud. The lantern drains oil when it's turned on, so don't turn it on. Oh my god! Okay, so I guess we're not going in that direction. That is the key to that. Okay, there's a chest here that I will open. So, I know one thing. Oh, we had oil! I don't know how to open this. Oh, man. Okay, we got more oil, more tinder box. We are filling that motherfucker up. More oil. We are halfway full of oil. No homo. Um, <laughs> anyways, so there's many routes I can take right now. I'm just going to kind of explore, so... That way I'm not going. I'm sorry. So, I know one thing. If some monster is trying to kill me, rape me, whatever he wants to do to me. Oh my god! What's going on? Oh, I don't know what's going on. What is happening? I don't know, but this shit just got a lot more crazy. Okay, that door's rocky. What's in here? That's boarded off. Archives. The fragrant taste of rose lingered in his mouth. Turkish delight, he thought, just like the ones at the consulate in Constantinople. I don't know where we are. Labry. Rary! What was that sound? Okay. Books. Books! Cockroaches. I don't know why this is getting 16th back. of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling 
there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Good to know. Talking in an accent, but I am. Oh shit, I'm getting hurt. I don't know if I should be wasting my flint like this. Oh, I don't have any more. I guess I shouldn't have been. But I'm sure we can find more. That's not gonna be a problem. Just like that. We found it. Okay. Oh, these chairs are Get out of here, chair. You are worthless. Maybe not worthless. Maybe somebody sat on you at one time. Maybe you cost a little bit of money, but I'm sorry, okay. Anyways. This doesn't seem to yield any more treasures. Not that I can see. I'm not blind, so. No, I was, I was bad. I'm not blind. I lied. I'm a liar. Anyways, I wanted to grab this note that I saw here. Let's listen. Doesn't read this shit for me? Okay, I guess I'm reading it myself. I hereby offer my full attention and servings to Alexander Baron of Brandensburg. This contract will re region for a total of three years. When my freedom shall return to me, in addition, Alexander Baron of Brennenburg is to recommend my service at the Persian Royal Court and within the sac sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break this seal. Wilhelm House of Garage. Okay. So that was regarding their expedition kind of deal, I'm guessing. This paper, can I write this? If I could, no, I can't. Okay. I was really excited there. If I could have wrote on that. Oh, okay. What the hell was that? I don't know, but we're lighting that shit up. Desks. Someone's following me, right? Okay, good. I hope not. Ah, more. I don't understand why one dinner box only does one goddamn thing. Because shouldn't dinner boxes? 17th of oh, May, let's listen. 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the fourth century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. All right, everybody, we're going to cut that up there, and I'll be back in a second. Hello, everybody, I'm back. I just needed to take a quick break. Everyone. 
seconds, so yeah, still one video. No big deal. I wonder when I'm gonna find something in these damn doors. Ha! Aw, oh, damn it, I can't pick up clothes. Oh well. It was a good try. Anyways, I'm just gonna walk through all of these doors. Well, I have to light that up or else I'm gonna. Whoa! What's going on? That's a big light, it seems. Anyways, we have to light our tinderbox up for this area. Can we find some more flint quickly, please? Nothing about. Oh, crap, we're gonna die if we don't find some flint. The door won't open, it is locked. Don't scare me anymore, cockroach. Up the map. Can we open it? I don't, I don't think so. More maps. More fucking maps. No flint. Oh my god! Jesus Christ! Oh my god. I don't know where that came from. Made me kill myself. Flint, yes, light the you up. Ah, don't have to burn any more oil. Book. We don't need that in there. Fuck that. Fuck books. Don't read. Is there anything in here? Let's see oh, another fucking book. Another book. What's going on? Oh, my lord. Oh, god. I don't know what's going on. 17th of May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and in possible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Okay guys, I think I'm going to cut it off there. That is episode 2 of Amnesia Let's Play with James. I will see all of you next time. Oh, <laughs>